Ski season is less than a month away for some Utah ski resorts, and the Utah Transit Authority is getting ready now. Yes, they're hoping to increase ski busing services despite having to cut back in recent years. ABC 4's Nate Larson is live at the base of Big Cottonwood Canyon. With more on that, Nate. Yeah, so uh, Sarah and Emily, last year, as you mentioned, UTA had to reduce their operations, at least their ski bus services, by 50% due to uh, the uh, pandemic, uh, essentially job shortage. And uh, they did announce just recently that although they're not back to those pre-pandemic level of workers, they are going to be able uh, to get more riders up the mountain this ski season. The Utah Transit Authority says that while they are still seeing a labor shortage among operators, they are better equipped for the upcoming ski season. We're in a much better position than we were last year. One solution is a partnership with Cottonwood Resorts to provide more rideshare options for their employees. About half of the uh, customers going up the mountain are actually uh, resort employees. Uh, so we've been working with resorts to move their employees off of those buses, uh, increase capacity on the buses for customers who are going there to ski, and uh, the, so the employees will have a separate shuttle system which will you know, uh, benefit both the resorts and, the, and our service. While many resorts already offered some form of ride share. We have doubled down on encouraging our employees to utilize the ski bus service and it really is an awesome option. I use it. Everybody in our office uses it. We see people across the resort using it. It saves us money on gas. It gets us to the mountain safely and it's a great time for us to spend together. Snowbird's really an awesome community and it's a great way for us to, yeah. I'll hang out. UTA is increasing the number of vans or buses available this year. We have van pools and we're providing vans to the resorts uh, again at a discounted rate so that they can get some of their uh, employees up to there. They are also keeping additional buses on standby this season during peak demand. What we've done is, you know, I, let's see if we can surge more service, which we're confident that we can do, you know, on powder days, on, on holidays, on weekends. And they say that parking reservations at many of the resorts should help cut down on traffic. Traffic is a really big problem for UTA because it's hard for us to adhere to schedules when we have a lot of traffic and we have a, an operator go up the canyon and if we don't see them for a while, it means less bus service. So the less traffic in the canyon, the more effective we're going to be. All right, now UTA did just announce recently as well that their ski bus uh, season and services will begin on November 26th. Now, another option for riders that want to carpool here in the valley as well, there's a new shuttle service called Cottonwood Connect. That will give some of the local hotels and city parks uh, an opportunity to allow people to congregate there and to commute up together. That is also something that UDOT says that they're providing some of the funding for. Live at Big Cottonwood Canyon, I'm Nate Larson, ABC4 News.